Bulacan is likely to build an alternative to the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Monokson will tell us why. Based on the latest report of the World Economic Forum Global Competitiveness, the Philippines has the lowest quality of transport infrastructure in Asia. The American Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines, meanwhile, says the Philippines has to build a new airport to encourage more tourists to visit and businessmen to invest in the country. The existing airports uh, uh, throughout the country uh, uh, need improvement, and that's a constant factor. It's not new to this administration. It's always been uh, there because demand is increasing, both uh, domestic uh, and international. Thus, the Department of Transportation, or DOTR, is studying the proposal of a private company about building an airport in Bulacan to ease air traffic congestion at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Under the said proposal, the airport will have two to six runways. The 2,000-hectare proposed airport has a carrying capacity of 100 million passengers, which could help decongest Naia. The construction of the airport will cost $10 billion, but the private group proposing it vows to shoulder the expenses. Because ang paggawa po ng airport ay hindi parang paggawa ng isang bahay na hindi madalian. It will take about Mabilis po yung four years, maybe five to six years, to even build just the first phase. Although there are other initial proposals for the construction of a new airport in the country, none of has been approved yet by the government. The government to date has no plans to expand the capacity of NAIA, but only to conduct an infrastructure improvement. Nevertheless, if approved, the government targets to finish the construction of the proposed airport in Bulacan before President Rodrigo Duterte's term ends. Monhokson, UNTV News and Rescue, Makati City.